I'd like to open with a short lesson. May all souls that are ready and willing be fully supported in the anchoring in of the most authentic expression of their divine soul essence as we anchor in the divine template for the greater good of all. And I couldn't resist Sawini, the festival of the ancestors, don't you know? I couldn't help but crack out the new tarot deck. 123 cards in this deck. And the question I asked was, what message would those who follow my Instagram account benefit from hearing tonight? And the first card that came out was the B. 54 breaking down to a 9 and the B can represent humility because he tirelessly, oh, tie. he tirelessly goes about his business pollinating the crops with very little thanks and those crops go on to feed all life on the planet and he does so without any need for reward but when his boundaries are crossed, he does have a sting in his tail. So it can also represent the need to set energetic boundaries. The second card that came out was the monk. 41 breaking down to a 5. And the monk there sitting in quiet reflection in his red robes, which very much reminds me of the red flowers of the bees that we are pollinating here. And the monk here appears to have an orb of light in his hand. And I think that's Lord Dantien that is lit up there. I speculated is it solar or sacral? I'll leave you to your own conclusions on that one, but I do think it is sacral energy, the creative fire, which brings me to the third card, Beltane, which is the polar opposite on the wheel of the year to where we are tonight. Sarini celebrates death and the release of old energies and acknowledging the ancestors, whereas when we reach the opposite side of the wheel come the 1st of May. We celebrate fertility and renewal and new life and birth and creation. And as we sort of head into winter, I very much see that as a message of having to be dedicated to the tasks that we've committed ourselves to and take time for quiet reflection, to kind of relight our own inner creative fire so that when we get round to Beltane we can enjoy a fruitful new harvest and we will next year be entering the year of the dragon and what also struck me about that is we have just came through the eclipse in Taurus which was conducive to clearing away false foundations and energies which were inhibiting stability. And that clearing, whilst there's always a degree of immediate sort of release to that, the fullest manifestation of that doesn't become properly evident until or properly anchored in until the new moon and Taurus next to me so timely as well that it does seem to be we are entering that energy of anchoring in for the winter and quiet reflection to work on what we want to see fully manifest come the new moon and Taurus next to me. So 
So, I trust that you enjoyed that message. And I had to cut the deck. And the card that I got out was fire. Again, back to that creative fire energy. And the number there, 108, number of divine order, breaking down to nine, ending cycles, which again is very much symbolic of the death and rebirth. Fire cleanses everything in its path and tears down the old without discrimination. And the purpose of that, the purpose of the fire is transmutation to make way for new life. So I trust you enjoyed that short message. Once again, a very blessed Salim to you.